We got ourselves team two with <laughs> Atho. Oh, you're looking good, Atho. Oh my my. We got ourselves Yand. What's your name? Yandex in here. We got him back. Uh, Kicklot. We got ourselves Linmin and Rom goes an outlaw rogue. First outlaw in these duels in a very long while. Yandex having to go versus Kragar himself. On Team Kragar, we got Lace. We got ourselves Kragar Bro. We got Master Fruit. We got ourselves Kragar getting him with a double stun right now. And in the back, we also got ourselves Fenny. That's as close as I can get with the name. Fenny, close enough. Yandex is playing the Frost Death that would double sword. Dual wielding. And he is going to get himself that pet to summon as well. Trying to use a dress on to Kragar. Unless Kragar is the one with a dress right now. And Yandex is trying to play this very defensively. Going for the death strikes when trying to deal with Kragar. But I think Kragar might just have him in that execute rage. It's not really looking that good for Yandex right now. Got himself Lichborn. So it's going to be quite a lot of death coils that he could use to heal himself. AMS available. Not really much that he can do with that AMS against Kragar. But he's dropping down every defensive, even death pack right now to try to live through Kragar. But Kragar actually got so much pressure. Yandex right now. I don't know if he's going to be able to do much against Kragar currently. I don't know if he has used some a different gear setup, maybe different stats. Landing a stun with a remorseless winter onto Kragar, which is going to be pretty good. As Kragar does account for it. But Kragar got himself even more damage. There's going to be a lot of executes coming out right now. The dragon goes above, but I think it misses Kragar for the most part. And Yannix is going to be going down. Kragar taking him wide card. Hey, it looks like it's going to be Lindemann up next. Lindemann is going to be a four. Is he playing enhancement? He is playing enhancement. So he's going to be able to... Oh, Kragar went in for a little bow just now. Did you guys see it? Kragar trying to give him as much of an honor duel. A quick bow to the enhancement shaman. As the two are going to tussle in the middle. Kragar definitely has a survivability for these duels. That's going to be a big old Hiruzum available for Lindemann. With an Ascendance getting hit with the Disarm. Is going to... Is he trinket it? That's going to be fear broken out pretty quickly. Oh, and Lindemann got himself quite big. Wind strikes available back to back. Should be able to get a lot of damage out of it. Kragar got himself even more Berserker Rage rolling right now as Rectus comes out. Just berserking over Lindemann. It looks like Lindemann is close to the execute rage. There's going to be a safeguard trinket coming out to give him a little bit of a shield. Kragar will not be able to do much about it. Lindemann using all that maelstrom saved up with a totem to heal himself up to full. It looks like Kragar is the one taking a little bit of damage right now. Ignore pain is all he really has. Currently for a defensive, we'll see if Nazat's trinket or safeguard trinket gets to come, to come out this time. Kragar hasn't had to use any defensive so far. And he so far has been doing uh, pretty well in the damage output as well as survivability. As Lindemann, most of his burst is really out of the window. Nazat Stricker joins the fight, allowing Kragar to use less rage to give himself a little bit of that. Ignore pain. Lindemann not looking that good. Looking like Exica Rage might come out right here. Dropping down another totem. Might be able to get himself some, heal, some haste and does go down. Getting slain by Kragar just from one to another. It looks like the outlaw rogue Ramgo is going to get found out. Big blade storm and some damage rolling up from Kragar. Ramgo does bring in a disarm. So for Kragar, that might be less opportunity to get all that damage back to back. He's playing the cru conflict, uh, crucible. He is playing crucible flame to throw in those big old balls of flame at Ramgo. Kinder shot comes out, but Ramgo got himself a drone rush rolling. Maybe some damage getting exchanged with those crucibles back to back. Ramgo does have evasion if he needs to. Does he actually? I think evasion is getting used right now. We don't just see it as a bar for Outlaw. No really have the parry. But there goes that evasion. Fear out of Kragar to live through that evasion for as long as possible. Ramgo does have a little bit more CC with the Kinder shots, gouches, which Kragar can start rage out of him though. And Kromgo can go for a blind if necessary. Does still have a drone rush. Kidding on the kid and shot onto Kragar. Getting some damage in blind to follow. As he's looking to maybe peel out. Maybe catch himself a reset. So far the duel haven't really been going in the favor of Romgo. Has Romgo even used our roll the bones by the way? Is he just slicing dice him? Does, does Romgo know there's... I don't know if he's used roll the bones. Romgo you disarmed. Press roll the bones real quick. Vanish a cloak of shadows away from Kragar. Does Kragar have any bleeds on him? If Kragar plays the Katiko Trinket or Katiko Weapon, it might be in a good spot. Short cheap shot onto Kragar. It is heavily DR'd. And Ramgo is actually out in the open without a paddle. Might be another exit by Kragar. And does take him out as Ramgo wanted to get himself a one kill here. Atho Woman is going to have to go next. Atho <laughs> versus Kragar. It's going to be a little bit rough. I think it might be rough for the both of them because both play very survivable gameplay right now. Atheman with the Paladin heals. And Kragar with his just survivability, the live lord status, and the Zotchnik, and he got himself a bunker build. But I think he's really been doing more damage recently. Maybe change up his uh, 
output of dps azamir is going for big damage with wings striker looking to maybe get a big heals off of Atha, doing quite a bit of damage back to Atha, leap it away as the hammer slams down going for a double heal safeguard trinket proccing and that's gonna be nazat trinket overlap with it it looks like he won't have to use enrage gen just yet we are in the five minute mark right now boys so the dampening is gonna roll in so we felt like maybe one of these two was doing way too much healing the cracker for example dampening is gonna start rolling in reflect available for kragar he does not want to athaman does not want to hodge himself and athaman is just gonna have to go for self heals back to back hasn't had to use a defensive yet he can still use bubble or bop and that's one thing he can do if he really wants to end this duel use bubble or bop to prevent kragar from being able to get an rage regen heal that'll be very interesting to see if he ends up doing it wings are gonna be down for athaman for a while though but he might be able to wait out for wings and get another big old hammer drop Onto Kragger. Looks like Kragger got some damage rolling. Reflect available in case a Hodge comes out by Atha defensively and does prevent him. But now they're going to be back to the tussle with Atha and losing health steadily. Kragger chasing after Atha as it jumps down. Atha looking to maybe get himself some heals. Shield of Vengeance can be used here if he wants to. As Kragger is looking to get that execute range, there goes the Shield of Vengeance. As Kragger played safe, it's going to be safe. It's going to be execute instead of hammer over his head. Hodge into Kragger. Maybe Shield of Vengeance procs onto Kragger. Could be big damage range. Shield of Vengeance procs actually had him in basically execute range. Kragger cannot go for a heal. Looking to get out of there. Shattering throw onto the bubble of Atha. Looking to maybe get him. It looks like he does get to take him out. The Shattering throw came out at the last second. He did it perfectly. Look at to get a charge from Kick a lot. <laughs> Who's gonna be up next is another enhancement shaman, Kragar! <laughs> that shattering throw, dude! Now if you guys thought maybe Paladins are looking pretty busted, pretty pretty disgusting. I think Kragar shows everybody that a good old shattering throw placement might be enough to let you live this. <laughs> At least warriors have something to stand up to them, right? Kick is gonna go for a big ascendance, huge damage here with Avatar. I mean, not Avatar, heroism. He basically go big at the think of Avatar. And that's going to be a wall, but Kragger just stopped dropping him in fear to wait out the wall. Kick, most of his damage is gone. There's all chicken onto Kragger, and there's nothing stopping him, and he just takes him out. Just slamming this boys out of here, man. Oh my god. Someone needs to nerf Kragger then. How much healing did he do? Yo, Kragger still heals a ton, dude. That does all chicken to save your chicken really do come into play. They really do make it handy, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> I think if you didn't have to go against double enhancement shamans, that might have been a bit of a harder matchup, like mages or maybe a warlock or something. Because enhancement, I don't really know if enhancement can hold their own there, boys, but that was that. Alright, let's try to get another group going, man. So far, Kraka's team goes for a 1v5s, man. We gotta we gotta give them a real challenge or something.